Hello, Real Python readers and listeners. I'm super excited to share that my new book, actually my first book, is now available on Amazon and is available in paperback. And I've got the, one of the first copies here. Um, my copy is a bit special because it's got this gray band across it, but definitely if you buy one, you won't have that on yours. This is the C Python internals book, which has been a work in progress for the last two and a half years around in terms of research work on this. Um, there's been articles that have been published on realpython.com as well. Um, with some of the work that has gone behind this. So this book really is uh, designed to be your guide of the C Python interpreter. And if you're working with any big Python environments, if you want to get to know Python in more depth in terms of how it works and how you can optimize it, uh, really how you can get a grasp of the internals of Python, then this book really is for you. So super excited that this is finally out. Um, and thank you, we've had thousands of people in the early access program. Um, we've had thousands of bits of feedback as well about the original drafts of the book. And we've made hundreds and hundreds of changes uh, over the last year to get it from early access now to a full version. Um, and a final version that is the first release, which will be available to purchase. Okay, so let's have a look inside the book. This is my copy. Um, like I said earlier, you won't have this gray uh, banner across the, the front. And also yours is probably going to be slightly less worn than mine. Uh, mine's been living on my desk for the last few months. So this is really the internals of the book. In terms of the size, I guess, um, it's just a little under 400 pages. Uh, but it's a pretty chunky book. I think, um, you know, really good value for money and things. And also the quality of the book is something that we've focused really hard on. So all the diagrams, all the annotations uh, throughout the books, uh, and also the code samples and stuff like that are something that we've really kind of focused on. Um, so in terms of the structure, let me show you the, uh, the contents. So we kind of start off initially talking about the C Python source code itself, and then how to set up a development environment locally uh, to work with C and C++, and also with Python. And then kind of beyond there, really, we kind of step it up to, okay, if you wanted to, you know, compile your own custom version of uh, CPython, how would you do that? Um, how do you compile from source? And then we actually step through the different stages, I guess, of the Python interpreter and how they work. So how does the syntax work? How does grammar, uh, the parser work? And that's the new parser in Python 3.9. That's something that, which has been re re rewritten after almost 20 years of the uh, the old parser, uh, which is written by Guido a long, long time ago. Uh, that's been rewritten for 3.9. So we've updated the book for that. Um, all around the configuration of the interpreter, um, lexing and parsing. So we actually talk about the, the process of how it understands Python code. And then in this one, we actually start to build on a practical example. So really every chapter actually you're given um, kind of like an exercise to do to interact with what you've learned. So, you know, with the language, there's a tool you can use to visualize uh, syntax trees and grammars. Um, in the lexing and parsing step, we actually modify the Python language itself uh, and we compile a custom version of CPython with a new uh, piece of syntax. Uh, actually, we add two pieces of syntax. One is just a simple keyword and then the next is a whole new comparison operator that we add in there. And then kind of as we go through the, the chunk of the book, which is really these, uh, these chapters here, then kind of actually building that out. So the, the compiler uh, chapter is obviously pretty significant, but we'll explain in full how the compiler works, what blocks are, how the frame stack works. Um, and then in the evaluation loop, we talk about how your Python code is evaluated, how that interacts with uh, C, what frame execution is, uh, the value stack, and then all of the internal operations. This is kind of the guts, I guess, of how Python works in practical um, terms. And then the next chapters after that are more things that you have control over as a Python user. So memory management, uh, parallelism and concurrency objects uh, and custom types. Uh, and then the standard library and the testing um, chapters are kind of, kind of building on top of that. So and I can show you, I guess, a bit more of some of the uh, the chapters. And then we talk about the test suite and how to test C Python itself. And then we've got a chapter on how to debug uh, C and Python code and ways that you would debug C Python, which is 
if you kind of get involved in some bigger Python projects, something you might end up needing to use. Um, benchmarking, profiling, and tracing. So if you do make customizations or changes to Python, or you want to benchmark and profile your own code, which is running on CPython, then there's all the utilities and tools um, that you would need to do that. And then uh, finally, kind of, if you want to contribute to the Python project itself, then how you would go about doing that. We've also included an appendix um, introduction for C to, to C for Python programmers. So if you're coming at this book and you don't know any C or you kind of maybe have a little bit of an idea, this is really just to get you up to scratch as quickly as possible. Um, not enough, obviously, to write like um, chunks, huge chunks of C, but just enough to be able to read it and understand um, what's going on um, throughout the book. So throughout the book, really, we've kind of got a lot of... Um, illustrations and examples of what it is we're explaining. So because some of the concepts in this book are really quite complicated, I'll give you um, a couple of examples. You pick the compiler, for example. So in the compiler chapter, uh, we revolve heavily around um, the use of diagrams to explain exactly what's happening. Um, some of the important terms you might need to use, uh, the compiler state, compiler units and how they work. So, you know, a lot of thought has been put into this book in terms of design and explaining um, complex topics. Um, and there are actually very few uh, code printouts in the book as well. Something that I'm really proud of is that um, this isn't just 400 pages of code printouts. You know, that's what uh, GitHub is for and you can download that stuff as and when you need to. Um, but we've actually focused more on illustration of the concepts uh, and a thorough explanation of exactly what's happening. So if you go through something like the memory management uh, section, for example, then we'll talk about um, pools, allocations, and arenas, and how uh, memory is managed in CPython, the garbage collector, and how it works, um, with all the thorough illustrations as well to go along with that. Um, most of the chapters have a uh, practical task for you to do as well. So this is not just passing information through, but actually here's a project or something that we want you to go and write or to modify and to test out yourself. Uh, so in the chapter on parallelism concurrency, we go through all the different methods um, for doing parallelizing or making your code concurrent, uh, how they actually work in CPython. So really what is um, multiprocessing? How does multiprocessing work under the covers? What's the difference between Linux and Windows? Um, you know, how do child processes, how can you communicate between them? How do you make sure that's um, thread safe, for example, if you're doing multi-threading? So you know, all of the chapters, we can go into that level of detail, um, but actually put it in terms of here's a practical example that you can go go and use as well. A good illustration of that would be, um, flick ahead. This is a chapter that I've got bookmarked almost all the time. Uh, so in the debugging chapter, it's, you know, how to run, not just how to run AC debugger. I think, you know, that's, you could just Google that yourself. This is how to debug CPython specifically. Customizations you can make to your C debugger to make it easier to um, work with Python object pointers and also links to um, custom scripts that have been written just for this book. Um, as well as there's actually quite a number of different tools which have been written for, just written for this book really to help you as the reader. Um, and for example, in the profiling chapter, you know, we've got a whole bunch of tools that you can use to check the performance of not just your applications, but of CPython itself um, and go into a lot of detail. So that is the that is the book. I really hope you enjoy reading it. The uh, We've had a few thousand people go through the early access program and the feedback has been phenomenal. We've actioned hundreds of bits of feedback um, to make little changes and fixes and improvements and stuff throughout the book. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you do, then please leave us a great review. Thank you.